All right, so last time on the Wild Beyond the Witchlight, um, you two had brokered peace before uh, between the uh, warring clans of the Korids and the Briganox. Turns out the Briganox weren't so bad after all. Both sides were being taken advantage of by um, by Endolin Moongrave, the hag that rules Yon. That rules Yon. Um, and after taking a mind-bending trip across the cosmos via an ancient throne and helping a elven prince uh, return back to his home by lighting some portals and dealing with some uh, pesky flying creatures. Um, you entered the hidden passages beneath the Brigandock mine that lead to Motherhorn, the, the lair of the hag. Uh, you encountered some flame skulls that were trying to act scary. And a, across a chasm of um, corrupted wish stones. When wish stones, when uh, mortals make wishes on the material planes, they turn into stones in the mountains of Yons. And these Briganox mine them. Um, a few of you received your wishes that you made at the Witchlight Carnival. And um, some of them have been fulfilled, but some of them still yet to be. And they're all worth a little bit of money. And since Mine you, was uh, worth a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think yours was the least amount. Oh no! No, Karen's was. Yeah, mine was. Mine was. Uh, Wishstone was five hundred gold pieces. Mm. Yeah. Mine was I, like ten or something. I had my reasons when, <laughs> when the night was during the night. No, um, it made it made sense. Everything made sense. That's why you picked it. It's just yeah. that's what it was. <laughs> also, uh, while in the mine, you met a uh, Bowers Call member, named, a rogue named Molliver, who. Uh, Stayed with the Briganox um, and was not frozen with the other Balor called members and was unaware of the fate of, of them at the Palace of Heart's Desire. Um, she's kind of escorting you through the mine, but as you enter the secret passage to Mother Horn, she um, stayed behind. That's where we're starting. Oh yeah, and we passed by um, a bunch of dick ghosts that were trying to scare us, but they're not very good at it. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. So with you is um, the dandelion, the uh, dandelion um, Amirdor, the giant bumblebee queen, Paul and Anna, and um, Gleam has taken off her moon mask. So hopefully people with that within Mother Horn won't recognize her. She also changed her gender, which she can do thanks to a blessing of her god, Corellian. Uh, her sibling can do the same thing. And Pim and her made up, and now we're on a oh, yeah. team. Pim revealed her, uh, the thing that was lost. It was her ability to feel at home wherever mm. she's living. And Gleam just felt, thought that was horrible. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I'll show you a picture of Motherhorn, since you're not you're doing the uh, underground way, and not the um, the other from the front. So I want to see the artwork that's used here because it's really cool. Yeah, we're taking the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Look at that. Oh, that's the that's the background I had for on D&D Beyond for one of my recent characters. Yeah. Didn't know it was from. Yeah, so you know, you know it's Sorry. like a you know it's a um like a theater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So theater. You, it's a theater. So you can see that uh it's kind of like the main theater room. They're putting on a performance. Oh, we're entering Barter Town. It also reminds me of uh, the Sphere Ball from Final Fantasy X and X-2. Oh, yeah, Sphere Grid. Or, or, <laughs> yeah. Blitz the Ball. fucking Blitz Ball. Blitz Ball, yeah. <laughs> uh... I, I love how basically the entire game starts out with them just basically opening a faucet and filling uh, a giant <laughs> sphere. <of it. laughs> hey, just imagine how... I, it's, it's like thousands of gallons to it. Just imagine how fun it would be just sitting there in the in the stadium watching it slowly fill up. <laughs> it's the pre-show. Da-da, da-da, da-da. <laughs> cool. 
At least, at least they're by an ocean. It, like, yeah, so it's not fresh water. Oh, you think it's salt water? But I how think does it's it, probably salt water. How does it stay? Magic. Magic. How And also, how Magic. do they breathe and move around that long underwater? Magic. Magic. Just holding their breath. It's a fantasy, okay? It's, it's <laughs> the final <laughs> fantasy. Final, final fantasy turns my favorite. It's those fantasy. darn Albed <laughs> Machinum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Sorry, Just pretend you didn't see it. <laughs> Trying to find another hand up. I don't worry about that when we get to it. All right. Because he's dead. <laughs> right. So you have a conversation about which Final Fantasy is the best. As you go through the tunnel. Number nine. You know, in all honesty, fantasy Final Fantasy is probably my favorite game series of all time, honestly. I, I mean, I, I kind of like the 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 ogre one. What? Fan- yes. Fantasy ogre battle. It's all right. I, I, I mean, I heard it was good. I, I actually haven't played it, but I, I heard it was good. Fantasy that... Legend of Zelda is also pretty good. Oh, that one's good, too. Except except Fantasy Legend of Zelda, too. That one's a, that's a little weird. It was a bit different. Sorry, I'm also sleeping as we're walking. <laughs> Again, as I do every time. I'm at Mystic Quest. <laughs> no, Fantasy Final Fantasy that's, Mystic Quest. That's it, terrible. you're out of the party, Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Just add fantasy before anything and suddenly it works in the D world. Um, fantasy 2001, a space odyssey. A space guess. fantasy. It's, yeah. It's two different genres, everybody. Uh, Anyways, I know we're sneaking in to Evelyn at her her theater, and I know everyone's pretty pretty ready to to you know get kind of rough, but um, I I just want to make sure everyone's gonna give me a chance to find what I lost before things come down to short bows and um, oh, oh swords. of course yes of course. You're, you're part of one of us. We can't l- l- leave you behind, so to speak. But thank you for the reminder, because I was just thinking of going in and wrecking up the place. I, I mean, yeah. we're going to do that anyway, yes, but... It's only fair. You all if all else so. fails, we can uh, send Karen to go fight her as a distraction while we look for your th- for whatever it is you lost. Well, don't forget, though, she's probably going to be joined by her other sisters, so maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh, I probably... I can take on one of them, I'm pretty sure, as long as I get several 26s in a row. <laughs> <laughs> but, how, how far... Um, oh, go ahead, good. Ahead. Uh, but I don't, I don't think we should count on that, but, you know, I am pretty good. But we shouldn't count on that. How far away would you say that we're from the uh, the mother mo- mother horn? It's a, at this point, the very top of the mountain. You're actually going upwards as you travel through the tunnel. Can you? When I get within uh, probably 900 feet, I'd like to actually do something if I can figure that out, give or take. Um, eventually, you you would see an opening with a light at the end. Um, say it. To indicate that you're entering like the, the the very low like lower level, so uh, yeah. I would at that point like to cast at second level um, locate object. Take me ten minutes to actually cast it. Okay. I would like to cast locate object on the on the. Uh, I don't think I saw the rocking horse. We'll say the hat that um, the the first hag that we killed was wearing. Because I did definitely see whatever hat she was wearing. Or Scalitha. whatever clothes she was wearing. Scalitha? Yeah. Um, Basically, I want to see if the... if the her body made it here. Yeah, I think and... she was wearing like a bonnet or something. Um, okay. Uh, t- yes, you do find it. Okay, yeah. So that'll, that goes for 10 minutes, so that'll ping for 10 minutes. Uh, providing it's... Uh, locate specific object as long as I've seen it before, up to 30 feet at least once. Oh, it can also locate the nearest object of a peculiar kind. I didn't know that. Uh, and so good news is, uh, they're not hiding behind lead. 
The bad news is that Scabbath's body made it here in presumably one piece. So they know. And are probably going to be very mad. But they won't know it's us, right? They, there's no way they can know it's us. If she showed up dead doesn't necessarily mean it's our fault. That's true. It could have happened to other, anyone on the way there. The other one, have Hagatha. She doesn't know that we a... killed her sister. No, but we attacked her and she's probably here too. Oh, no, although that's true. I didn't I don't know if she's here. Um Is Asher's arrows in any way recognizable or are they just <laughs> arrows? <clears throat> no, they're just regular ass arrows. Yeah. Cool. Okay. They all have a uh, their name on it. In a little, <laughs> in a little, in a little <laughs> winky face. <laughs> Asked her if there's like a picture of like a, like like a it's an emoji but it's got the horns on it. <laughs> Anything else before oh. you go through the tunnel, or, or before you exit the tunnel? Maybe we should have a plan of action, or like. Well, we don't really know what we're walking into. Um, wait a second, uh, Squirt. Yep, Squirt's You've here. You've been here before. You were a uh, you were a prop. Tell us anything about the castle. It says uh, it's basically one big, uh, big theater. It has like dressing rooms, backstage uh, where all well, the props are stored, um, prisons, um, you know, all the standard stuff. All right. Uh, to be honest, that's I've only seen like the main theater room and the prop room. I mean, I don't know. But... Well, uh, do you know any like secret passages, trapdoors in the stage, any anything that could help us? Does she have like a no? She's usually on stage, right? She's probably putting on the shows. Occas- occasionally, she would. Um, she doesn't usually perform, no, she but sometimes. Watches- she likes to uh, swoop in on the at the very end and like steal the show at the very mm. last minute and proclaim herself the star. So she's a little. Does self- she have a? Does she have a? Uh, a uh, like a private box? So we're looking the entire. You know, sometimes. Entire... You, sometimes you can see her from one of the taller towers when um when the plays are being performed. Uh, twice a day, plays are performed. Okay. And rehearsals happening throughout the day. All right, thank you. Is there um, is there like a, a dungeon or somewhere she keeps people that she's upset with? <laughs> well, that would be the prison. That was pretty nice, all things considered. Yeah. I I I'm afraid I don't know. Um, well, you know. I I don't. You know. <sighs> I, I, okay, we'll say I know. Well, due to the rules, uh, she can't actually kill anyone, so they make sure she's well-fed. Since she's the one doing the kidnapping, they didn't technically show any hostility, so it's kind of like a, a little Wait, gray the, area. And they're protected as a guest. Exactly, a guest that can't leave. Well, I'll have to do Sounds something like about that. like a prisoner. That. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make sure to let them out if we decide to burn this place down. Well, I don't think you'll be able to burn this place down. It is literally a mountain. I mean, I've seen volcanoes. Bleem says, Did "I guess make one." No, I'm I'm a weather person, not a not a lava person. Lava's underground weather. But. It's not like thunder. There's no underground thunder. I guess underground thunder is earthquakes. There's no underground lightning. Yet. All right. That's in the next D&D world. (laughs) I don't know. Storm was able to use it, so I feel like it's possible. I guess if lightning hits the ground, it has to come back up out of the ground at some point. Is that how it works? Yeah, ground is like a frog, right? So, the tunnel ends at a wall of loose-fitting stones. Red light shines through the cracks, and you hear the sounds of shouting and hammering coming from somewhere beyond the wall. Peek through. See anything? 
go over here. Loud music, turn down. See, this is the one you should have played, Takata. At, uh, at okay, this is, this is nice and creepy. Yeah. Uh, looking around, do we do I see anything? Yeah. So, um, there's some stones at the end. You 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 break through them. You find yourself in kind of a part storage eh. room. Eh. Push the uh, <laughs> stones out of the way. You push them with your centaur. No, no, you pull them. Because your centaur, you can pull things <laughs> there. It's really hard to squeeze through that passageway. I thought it'd be a little bigger. I'm I'm impressed you did that, Kelsey. Uh, I uh, made sure not to eat anything. Stay a little skinny. Uh, so you are down here. Yep. Uh, crates of props are stacked in this chamber alongside wooden backdrops draped in cobwebs. An eight-foot diameter circular wooden disc painted to look like a smiling moon leans against one wall. From a cluttered corner, a raspy voice says, Yes! Over here! Glancing in that uh, direction, you see a wooden mari marionette carved and painted to look like a human skeleton. It appears to be tangled in its own strings. I seem to have got myself into a wee fix here. I can kind of help out a little bit. Help old break a leg here? Uh, I, I think I can help. Uh, I, I got really dexterous hands. And they're also really fast. So I think it'd be funny to just go over and just go... And try and uh, so you unravel. So you approach this marionette. Mm -hmm. This living doll. Its jaws, like, it's, skull, it's a, like jaws is flapping as it talks. Give me a, a sleight of hand check. Yeah, before he's like, even, ah, well, thanks a lot, ma'am. Uh, you, ha you, have, you have it undone. Yeah, I just imagine it's just like, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, it's so good. But it's, so it's it's like, um, almost like the wooden dummy, like the hand dummy type of mouth, where it's just, or like a nutcracker, where it's just kind of like yeah. sliding up and down. <laughs> sure, yeah. yeah. It's like, whoa, that was fast. Kind of stands up as if it's on strings, but it's moving freely around. And it just stretches out. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that is that is that is uh. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Um. I haven't, I, no, no, I wasn't trying to scare you. I just haven't been able to stretch my legs in a long time. Got all tangled up in my strings here. I I just haven't um. Sorry, I haven't seen too many um people with with strings uh move with without the strings moving them. With with somebody his... moving the street. I don't. I don't know if I'm digging a hole here. Yeah. Um, he turns around and starts doing stretches. It's like ah, and then his head turns around, 180 degrees. Oh no! no as soon as as soon as he does that, Aster like jumps behind Kelsey. Like oh god, oh, it's just, <laughs> he's it's, not. It's a, it's a wooden face. It's okay, oh, Aster. Oh, oh, it's fucking terrible. It should not be able to do that. No, no, no it should be able to do that. It shouldn't, but it's just it's. It's just a. It doesn't have any internal organs or muscles or anything like that. It can smooth freely. How do you know so I don't have any internal joint. organs? I don't like uh, it. Are you hollow? He goes, yeah, kind of. Well, I mean, then they'd probably be missing. Uh, but I was the very first puppet Endelin experimented on. So I have that going for me. He starts doing uh, jumping jacks. One, two, one, two, one. Is two. his head still turned around? <laughs> it's, it's still turning this whole time. Uh, <laughs> so. I don't like it. See, you found the secret entrance. I wonder when someone was going to use that. <clears throat> I always felt a draft there. Yeah, it, uh, it goes uh, quite a ways down. There's a... Uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm guessing, so, uh, quick question. I'm guessing you um, don't want to be found if you found the secret way in. Somewhat, yeah. Um, What do you mean experimented on? Were you, like, turned into a puppet? Or were you a puppet that was turned to life? Or... I, I was just a normal old marionette. I think, I think Endelin wanted something a little more, uh, you know, evil. 
But um, I turned out to be a pretty okay fellow. Oh, that's good. Squirt, or do you know them? Oh, <laughs> Squirt. I, I imagine they're, they're friends because they've been here forever. They're long-lost lovers. Squirt is like, um, <laughs> I don't spend much time in this room. This is where the discarded junk goes. Oh, no. Okay, though, that's uncalled for, Squirt. <laughs> yeah, break a leg goes. It's like, yeah, it goes, hey, that's what he said. Uncalled for. I'm, I'm inclined to agree with Squirt on this one, for one. Yeah. Anything else in here alive? Go up to the the giant moon. <laughs> it's like poke it. Are you alive? Yeah. Tim is also interested in it. Yeah. Break a leg, puts a hand over his mouth. Like, yeah, I'm a scary moon. Ooh. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've seen this. It's got one of those little ma magical stones in the back, and I start looking for it. Definitely not this talking, though. Where is it? It's gotta be the. Wait, you can do that with the sending stone? You can. Yeah, you can well, it's a special it... one. It kind of like. It could be a magic mouth somewhere. Put magic mouths on things, and they, they're there forever. They just say things when you go by them. Oh, I'm just pulling your leg. Old break of legs pulling your leg. Look back. Which one? I have four. <laughs> hey, whichever. <laughs> which, yeah. <laughs> His eyebrows kind of go up and down. Whatever one you want. Yeah, you're definitely, definitely Squirt's friend. <laughs> it's like, now that moon, um, you know, try to get rid of everything uh, sun and moon related. Because Endolin, tell you a little secret. Terrified yeah. of eclipses. But I think everyone oh, knows I... that. It's not very Yeah, I don't think it's much yeah. of a secret. Yeah. I mean, we just showed up here, and even we know about it. Oh, you did? But, uh, it... Do we know the reason why? Um, you remember that Gleam told you that, uh, she has a machine that does prophecies here. And, oh, um... Right. And, and, and she saw that she would die during an eclipse. And it's... She right, thinks right, it could right. be a real eclipse, or even symbolic, since, you know, there's no moon here in Prismere. Gleam was the uh, the moon yeah. one, right? Not the sun one. I was like, ah, I was thinking maybe maybe we could just have had some sun in front of this moon. Well, I guess the sun doesn't. Is it a lunar eclipse or is it a solar eclipse? The, the moon has to eclipse the sun. Okay. That's why she took away Gleam's shadow. It's, it's a solar eclipse then. Okay. There's a moon think, in here, right? What, what, it's yeah, what, what if it's <laughs> they can be either or, to be honest. Yeah, what if it's yeah, what if we just what if we play misdirection and we trick her and uh we, we do a so a lunar eclipse. Still an eclipse. Still involves the sun, the the moon and the planet. Well if you can lug that thing out of here without anyone noticing, then I mean, I mean I'm just planning things. Oh yeah, by the way, no, you didn't hear any of that. Never mind. <laughs> ah, don't worry, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Da, 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 da. Okay. I mean, I have a... She was my creator, but um, she did abandon me here, so... I'm sorry that happened. One day, though, I'll be able to break a leg for real. Break her leg? No, like, you know, put on a good performance. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's less... Because, <clears throat> you know... You could help us break her legs yeah. if you like hey um everyone I, I think I just got <laughs> just got a hair hair brained idea he, oh he does say um ah, he must be new here cause um Andalyn doesn't have any legs it was metaphorical yeah. also yeah I, I, I'm surprised that she doesn't have any legs but um yeah I, I have I have an idea about maybe how I can get my get my thing back. Ooh. What if and let me know if this is like a little much. What if we do a surprise show and just do an absolutely wonderful job like we did at 
back at the carnival. Mm -hmm. And she's so impressed she wants to give us a favor. Maybe, maybe then I can get my, my thing back. Oui. If she doesn't want to kill it. Sorry, the beginning of this oh, is really oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh <laughs> god. <laughs> if she doesn't want to kill us immediately on seeing us, then I think we have a that. Gleam said, uh, whenever we had visitors, my brief time here, in order to get Endolin's attention, they did have to put on the tragic play. So I think you might be onto something. From what I remember, Endolin is a sucker for tragedy. The whole life's yeah, it would be real easy. So the more over the top and melodramatic and you can make it, the better. What? And Kelsey, I'm not gonna do this in character, but like I'm just as a player brainstorming, like, oh my god, what if we put the, the death of of uh Scabatha and make it a play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The real tragedy is that it's all true. Uh, the end? Question mark. That's like writing a book saying if I did it and then trying to publish it. <laughs> if I did, like, if, I, I, if I did a question mark. <laughs> um, uh, like, I, I think uh, I think the stage hand is going to uh, give you a script. You know, it's, it's like that we make our own. It's not. It's like if you if you try to show her up. Like, by doing your own thing, then, like, she's gonna be insulted, but if you put on one of her own plays, then, like, it'll feed her ego. Couldn't we, like, make a show that's so tragic, though, that she'll be more impressed than, like, exactly. a Exactly, that's, that's maybe, the idea. Maybe she'll have, like, a heart attack. <laughs> she's just so overcome by, you know, how impressive our show was that she'll just keel over right there on the spot. <laughs> Oh, you, I mean, you, you'll perform her to death. Exactly. We'll, we'll, we'll kill it. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> or we can say, oh yeah, no, we'll totally do your play and then not do it at all. <laughs> I think that would get me further away from getting... No, you know what, that's true. I'm sorry. No. Sort of be a downer. No, it's um... not. You're... No, you are correct. We're here to do it for you. Um, but also, we're, we're here for Gleam as well to help get uh, his twin out. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can split the party? Um, I'm wondering, <laughs> maybe Kelsey... Would break a leg here, splits a party, his, his mouth is go, like opens up real wide. <gasps> Split the party! I heard that's not what you're, not what you're supposed to do. Uh, well, it, it all depends on the party and... and... Um, I, I could say that if we were going to split it, I would say that Karen, Gray, myself, Pimner, and Aster go one way, and then everybody else goes the other way. That seems like a decent way to split the party. Who's that? That's Squirt? Gleam, Gleam. Amador, the Bumblebee, right, do you... and Break a Leg. Amador says, uh, are you saying you want us to search for, uh, for, for Glister while you, um, Deal with the hag. No, it's... Ah. Well, I was just saying if we were to split the party as we do. But if we really should figure out what to do, what, what our goals here are to get Pim what she needs, get Gleam what she needs, he he needs. Um, He goes, yes, he. <laughs> and, um... Well, then, uh, I guess, attempt to... Leave a line. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, if you have to find your sibling um, before I just, I just want to point head. I just want to point out also that I'm not very sneaky what with the so the, if the clock, whatever clock? we do yeah if whatever we do involves uh, some sneaking around um, oh, might want to be not with me Well, well, Gleam does go. Um, well, if you do want to uh, split the party, um, you know, it's it's just, you know, it may also be like I'm saying this with you know, 
be as polite as I can. Sort of a liability. Uh, and we we know how well the five of us work together as a team. And we hate for something terrible to happen to you. Lot if we're suddenly <laughs> you know having to take on the hag all of a sudden. You know, feel like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Gleam, I, I know you're a really good performer. I trust you when you say that you can perform. But I also know that you've been waiting a really long time to find your sibling. Well, so... I do I do know that if Endolin catches me, even in this form, she might recognize me. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit of me a danger if I'm around you, if you confront her. I know where the prisons are. It's on, um, they're in one of the towers, the left side tower. I think we could sneak there, but yeah, we. I'm a little unsure if we can actually open the prison doors. Well, well Kelsey is good at opening doors. Uh, so we can wait. For, uh, so we can. The magical kind. I think <laughs> we'll be able to uh, at least sneak up to there. Maybe rendezvous. Oh, there yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish. So, okay, okay, okay. How about this, then? You lock and look for the... Try and find Glisten. You know, whatever. Glister, whatever their name is. <laughs> and then... Meanwhile, we're looking for... The hag. Behind her, whatever. Once you lot know where the prison is, exactly, you can come back, help us kill her, and then we all go together to save... Me, me, me and Glister could uh, form an eclipse, wink, wink. Right. If we before we do really anything that would involve that's true, yeah. A hag aside, so we would probably <gasps> want to make sure we can do that somehow. This is so like. So I know the prison is next to the Orrery of Tragedies. That's her prophecy machine. So. Once you see that room, you'll know it when you see it. Uh, we're to the, uh, we're to the west of there. West of Orrery of Prophecies. It's actually called the Prophecy Machine. <laughs> the or the Orrery of Tragedies. All our prophecies tend to end tragically. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder if maybe she's just looking for a, for a sad ending. <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, she's trying to prevent it, given all the trouble she went through. You would know that, um, like that Elven Prince you went to got a prophecy, um, like this, and uh, she kind of manipulated him into uh, being like a jester for a short period of time for a positive prophecy, things like that. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if the uh, the Grungs, their society, managed to have this? Their their leaders could last twice as long. Oh, the bullywogs. Oh, the bullywogs. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if that could help them. I mean, I don't think it will help them, but it, I I mean, thought experiment. It's all. Mm. All right. Well, let's uh, you creepy puppet. Mm, yeah. Oh, geez. Murphy. Um. Do you know the quickest way to get to where she is? Or even to the prison? Um. Could you make yourself you? Break it up a little bit, Jess. What? You were breaking up a little bit. Oh. It's self useful. Yeah. Well, he points to the open doorway over there. Over there's the workshop. Charmaine's probably there. Getting, getting a fit for her uh, rehearsal. Head up the stairs. Then, look at the map. Why don't you just give us your map, um, break a leg? I don't have a map. You just said you were looking at a map. It's the uh, <laughs> the big voice in the sky has a map. <laughs> He says it's on the second level of the tower. 
Up above is the stage, and on the upper levels are the two towers. What great movie. The two towers? Yeah, the two towers. Oh, uh, the tower. Fantasy Lord of the Rings, the two towers. What a fantastic movie. It's only about half the story, but... Man, whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. Why, is this, why is this part so loud? <laughs> <laughs> um, trying to find the actual where the stairs is. I wonder what they use that that crane for that's hanging over the side of the cliff. I believe that was one of the ways you can get up. Oh. Yeah. Was that... I just went right through the front door. <laughs> I would imagine. Well, uh, we didn't want to just in case the other no, 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 I know, I know. came I'm here, but yeah, we probably I'm could. I'm saying like that was that's probably the way to like go through the front door. I like yeah. it when houses have uh, multiple ways to get to where you want to go in them. Mm. Makes things less railroady. Yeah, so um, there's some stairs near the entrance of the uh, main auditorium that will lead up to uh, the first level of the tower. Uh, Pim's going to keep an eye out for cord hair machinery. Uh, yeah. So this goes up here. Sorry, there's a lot of stairs in this place. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> Just non-stop towers. Vertical. Is, the real tragedy is her interior design. <laughs> <laughs> the place was designed by uh, MC Escher. <laughs> oh, stairs don't even make sense. Okay, it's right there. Where do they go? <laughs> All right. Oh, I, I, as a DM, will let you know when the stairs are there. Excuse me. But you're gonna run into several minions beforehand, um, so you'll probably have to. If you want to put on that performance, you'd be probably doing that first. Yeah. So. Yeah, look through into the next room. Yep, so it's a wonder that they didn't hear you say all this, because in the next room... Next room? Next room. The big-eared dwarves are working. Ah! Oh, God! It's dark! <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, Bun, you listen. That Holy. that movie is a sexual. Uh, <laughs> best. Oh, enjoy that one without context, audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, a corrid, a corrid. I spot a corrid. The cavernous underbelly of the stage is noisy and hot. Goblins work a forge, saw wood, and daub paint onto wooden backdrops. A woman in a tight dress barks orders at a worker at the workers while a goblin frantically makes adjustments to her costume using needles, pins, and threads. A tiny creature chained to a hooded lantern on a tabletop is using a stick of charcoal to sketch something on a piece of parchment at unbelievable speed. A wispy bulb of light flutters next to him. Oh, that's it, uh, that's a thing. Is it okay? I only there, I only see a corrid on the map, Joey. I don't yeah, know I don't see other. any. Oh. Yeah, all these are on GM players for some reason. Okay, yeah, I just want to make sure, um, because sometimes it's yeah. I'll do that too. I'll be like, oh, this is a wrong layer. So is this a uh, goblin tailor is fitting the suit? I was trying to look for a picture of this earlier to put in the yeah. roll twenty. I shall put it into the. They have the chat. art handout in because usually they'll have the art handouts. In well, I was yeah. looking for it, but I couldn't find it, so I'll put it in the, oh, yeah. in the chat. Somehow, yeah, here we go. Ooh! Oh, she looks like a bitch. <laughs> I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to say it. But you said it. <laughs> I love the art. I love the like yeah. paint. 
Yeah. Painfully style, I love that so much. She's going, uh, it's it's like, has Karen met her match? <laughs> let's say, she goes, uh, you have to get this dress ready and ready time for my performance. It was too tight last time and I can hardly move around the stage and move my arms. Now, how do you expect me to put on a good show when I can hardly breathe? Make sure the color brings out my eyes. It's like, yes, uh, he's uh, just like, yes, yep, mm hmm, mm hmm, yep. But every once in a while, he, like, accidentally, like, pricks pricks her leg or something. <laughs> and she's like, oh. she's far you on the spot. But unfortunately, I think you're the only one that will, that, uh, makes the dresses that I like. It's like, oh. And she sees Kalsey standing in the doorway. She turns around. Oh! Thought you heard talking? I thought that puppet was making a racket again. Uh, uh well, he won't be making a racket anymore. Gets another prick on the thigh. It's like, careful, careful. It's like, right. The goblin goes, uh, uh, she goes, uh, he goes, uh, so, so she goes, uh, sorry, he goes, uh, sorry, Skyla. He goes, no, Charme. My name is Charme. Remember that. Charme. It's like, it's like yes, Madam Charme. Char Charme, like, like, charming? Well, thank you for noticing. No, it was a question, not an observation. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. And no, who... you're absolutely stunning. Look at you. I've never seen somebody more beautiful in my life, actually. Love yeah. your hair. Where? Did you do that yourself? Of course not. I had my servants do it for me. Oh, well, they did quite a good job, I must say. I really thought you were, like, you just exude brilliance and talent. I had assumed that you had done something so beautiful yourself. Does this a uh, deception, or is this yes. a persuasion? <laughs> yeah, uh, this is uh, deception. Yeah, give me a deception check. <laughs> Do it. To make it better. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Because knowing my luck. Oh, fuck. I should have went in there and did charm person. I'm an <laughs> idiot. Damn it. Oh. Please. 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 No. Oh, 13. 13. She goes, um. Well, I am the leading lady. Or I will oh. be once Endolin realizes my brilliance. She should. Well, it didn't take oh. much her, did it? <laughs> so, so who are you, are and you... why did you come from the gutter? And she, she eyes all of you. Uh, we had backstage passes. We are your biggest fans. I did it this Wednesday. I'm going to try and do this again today. <laughs> see if it works. We are your biggest fans, Charme. And when we you were here, we had what we could to sneak in. I'm so sorry. I hope you'll forgive us. Karen, just... Karen, I think you're really going to like someone out here. <laughs> Karen? We've... Who's this Karen? Oh, no. Hello? Oh. Also one of your biggest fans, isn't that right? Karen. I, yes. Mm. One second. Nice to meet you. I'm Karen. Hmm. The she... monarch queen. She eyes you up and down. Queen, huh? In those heels. They're pumps? Someone's about to rage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're pumped up. I'm already kicks. flipping I'm flipping extra tables over for cover. <laughs> I can see I can hear the eye flinch. <laughs> Say that. Uh, hmm. See so you copied my shade of lipstick? Well, she's your biggest fan, of course she would. Right, Karen? Yes! <laughs> Copied you! It looks beautiful on both of you. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> well... I am flattered. I know that we very rarely put on performances to the public. It's mostly just for our Miss Moongrave. You know, when well... I came here, I was promised... 
an audience when I quit the League of the League of the League of Benevolence. It's very hard to say. I know. But say, shut up! No! <laughs> no! Sibilance! No! Sibilance! Sibilance! She's like malevolence, malevolence, malevolence! <laughs> oh! oh my god! <laughs> Uh-huh. You can't say it three times or else they'll appear. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of that soundtrack is always perfect. Yeah. It's on um, point. <laughs> it's like, uh, but I'm just putting on performances for those darklings or those shadows or goblins. I need a real audience. See goblins my... are real. Oh. Well. Yeah, as I look at the <laughs> the goblin that's working yeah. on the dress. <laughs> I think those filthy goblins as like goblins are doing all work around her. It's like um, the Disney princess of goblins. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes so, I regret quitting the league and pledging loyalty to Baba Yaga. But it has made me more powerful and for that I am grateful. Especially for my Acting? Oh. <laughs> Hi. Um. But, yeah, you, you said, um, wait. What did you have to give up? I if mean, you don't mind me asking. I'm right, we, um, I've read your autobiography yeah. and it wasn't in there. Yeah, she says, well, oh, I didn't get <laughs> to give up anything. It's quite easy to betray those buffoons. Really? I hear, I hear, I hear they're uh, frozen in the Palace of Heart's Desire, along with uh. Valor's Call. Hmm. Uh, Come up and meant... ask me. No, I meant like to Baba Yaga, considering Hag. Like... Oh, to pledge her loyalty to her. It wasn't That's hard to it. do. She's quite fabulous. That's it. You just said I pledge my loyalty to you, and then she gave you acting skills, of course. Uh, <laughs> 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 of course. Uh, no, master laughing. Um. Okay, but yet yeah, you don't really seem to be. <laughs> if uh, Andalyn is giving you leading lady. She's just jealous of my, uh, of my, uh, just my natural skill. Your, your raw talent. My raw talent. That's what happens when you're exceptional. Some people just brush you off. But I know I what am. that's like. <laughs> both, both faster and caring, like they, they're like, mm, yeah. Re- well, regardless of whether I had my starring role yet, I am glad I caused trouble for my former comrades. <laughs> look on their face. Can you imagine the look on their faces when they were about to make their move on a... on a... on those Valor Call fools. You would see the hags there. Freeze them in time. Would have been so funny to watch. Well, uh, that I so um, so it's, it's I'm trying to remember the uh, or events here. She said that she betrayed League of Benevolence by joining with the Hags. Yeah, and I was, I was supposed to say like that. Um, the Hags. And she goes, um, yes, the uh, the Hags arranged a me- meeting between the two groups. If you get my drift, so they would. Have a little fight, a little distraction. That's when they made their moves. That's what they tell me. Can you keep a secret? Frozen. They're Can... frozen in the. Oh, if Valor's calling the League of Malevolence, frozen in the Palace of Heart's Desires. Do I have to repeat myself? Yes, I'm a little hard of hearing on the side due to a <laughs> massive fireball that went off. Um, <laughs> I had heard that you were. A little kinder to those of us that the hard of hearing. Uh, I still look up. I to you shall and you're project down. my voice then. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> oh, all the nearby goblins cover their ears. I'm. What is this core in here? Um. It is a uh, a brigand rock. Or I'm sorry, the brigand rock. It was a. Uh, it was kind of buying you, running down on its little parchment. Charmaine goes. I don't have to worry about that little disgusting creature. He's just probably writing up blueprints for Endolin's next machine. Huh. I turned to it. Uh, what you making there, uh, little buddy? Um. Yeah, what voice are you going to give this one, Joey? I'm just reading ahead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, He's, um, oh, oh, it's, uh, it's nothing. Um, just some machines I want to build. Oh, like, uh, like what? Like what kind of machines? Uh, oh, oh, you know, I want to, I want to, uh, make a, a man with gears and that can move on its own. And, uh, you, you can, uh, perform in the plays and, uh, and, uh, but, you know, he's a metal man. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to make next. You want to make you want to you want to put Charmaine out of a job? Oh no 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 no! Uh, I just, I'm just always thinking, you know, if I use some of that cord hair in there, and I can, uh, and I can, I can move on its own, you know. And uh, um, you know, Henry won't like that idea, though. She just wants to keep keep making prophecy machines, so I have to work on these on my, my private time. My name's Go Gromo. Right oh, hello, Gromo. I'm yeah. Calzy. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking to you. I mean, I don't see anything. I don't see a sign here that says don't talk to the help. Yeah, well, I am, and, a, I am in a uh, cage, so. Oh, I didn't see that. It no. looked like I thought I thought that was just your house. Pim is going to He's go over, cage. like, is going to go yeah. over there and just start, like, like tapping him on his what? hind quarters. What, his, what, 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 what are you doing? No, no, no. Kelsey, I'm, I'm patting. I'm oh. tapping Kelsey. Uh, no, uh, yeah. Kelsey, Tim, yes. Kelsey, you you were literally in the middle of a conversation with with somebody, um, and they were about to t to tell us a secret. Oh, can you oh. come back to the the main conversation, the main quest? Uh, uh, okay, I just... oh, you remembered when I, I said that, did you? Because uh, I decided not to tell you. <laughs> I just honest... been staring but... at this thing the whole time, and I was yeah, like, "What's going like, on?" It's just like really distracted. <laughs> so uh, maybe when they're having that conversation, you're talking to Glomo there. Um, but is, there, is there anything you want to say to him, Kalzi? Uh, well, it's just uh, well. I don't imagine you're here to rescue me, are you? I mean, you use uh, my secret I... tunnel. I mean, let's let's see. Um. I, I take out the various keys that I got from Jingle Jangle. Do any of them work? It was a silver key and an iron key. They're far too big for that little cage. Uh, well, maybe later. Uh, uh, I don't know. And then just jump back to, to everybody else. <laughs> yeah, he, he's inside a lantern. Okay. Not on fire. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All this work, whenever I use my my super fast powers, it makes me kind of sleepy. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and finish up the, the Charmé. It would be nice if I uh, didn't have to live in this lantern anymore. I, I know, I know. I'm just I'm just saying. I'll, okay. uh, uh... <laughs> yes, just do what you do. Old Gromo. All right, old, All right. Old, All right. I'm, old, just go, I'm going back. All old right, Gromo bye. believes in you. <laughs> All your dreams. <laughs> All right. Not not trying to make you feel bad or yeah. anything, but you know. Yeah. Only I had enlarge reduce, I could make the key small enough. Yeah. Or make it big enough. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> so around this time, um she goes, I can project my voice and uh all the goblins around them start to uh, cover their ears. The tailor accidentally like really pricks her this time. And uh she kind of like jumps and something falls from her pocket. Lands by her feet. Pim, pim. Does she notice that happening she, or is she just. She, she immediately notices when it touches it, when it hits the ground. It's a. Uh, it's kind of cone shaped, almost like a horn. Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, a unicorn oh, no. horn, you could say. Yeah? Oh, no. She, she looks at it, kind of panicked for a moment. 
bends down and picks it up real quick. Careful! You buffoon! She'll fire you on the spot! And she puts the horn back in her pocket. Now, where were we? Um... I was uh, going we... to ask you. Oh, go ahead, Pin. I was just going to say we're... <laughs> <laughs> We're your biggest fans. Um, yeah, back to that. Uh, we already established yeah. that it's possible okay, back for me to, to have fans yet. Back, back to Esther. I was just going to say, um, we may be putting on a show for Andalyn. And... How would you like to be in it? She says, "One of the shows just to put on a re just to gain an audience." I don't. I already did one of those when I first arrived. I'm not going to stoop down to that level. Well, I was going to make you leading lady, but never mind. I guess. <laughs> guess Karen will have to be the lead now. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I'm. I'm sure Karen will will appreciate being the oh. the leading lady. Karen yeah. will do such an amazing <laughs> job being the leading lady. Top billing. Top billing. Mm -hmm. Karen. She looks at, yeah, she looks at Karen's like... The Karen story. Her. <laughs> oh. She doesn't even have a, a warlock patron. She doesn't Could need she... one. Yeah, that's how good she is. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even need that much makeup. <laughs> yes. That that what you see on her face, all natural, except all the natural. lipstick. That because that's the same as yours, I, I guess. Everything <laughs> else though, natural beauty. Karen phases into the wall using the stone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why she's over there. It's just Homer going into the yeah. bush. <laughs> well, I think uh, it will get Endolin to notice me again. I mean, we're all professional at what, uh, my friend here, he motions down to Pim, and I, uh, are professional performers. It's quite, li it's like, it's what we get paid to do, so I think we would know pure talent and how to put on a good show when we see it. And are given the opportunity to. So, I'm just saying. But if you're not interested, yeah. then I guess we'll just... Sorry, I was just reading ahead a little bit. No, no, um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, she says, um... Yeah, she said, like... Well, maybe... Back can be the star. You're my supporting cast. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you will eclipse us with your performance. Right. Uh, I feel we. Mm, mm, I'm trying to think of ways of like being like, we'll do this for you, but <laughs> you gotta do. And I'm trying to think of like, because uh, how the like she wouldn't know daily squat about like. It seems like she'll come up with you to the stage to to propose mm. um, that she does a play with you. Well, that'll, that'll help us. Yes. Do you have any recommendations of what plays to put on? I, I'm told that uh, that Endelin has uh, very many famous uh, or many favorite scripts. She does say, um, "Well, that's the beauty of the the play the peasants put on for her. Um, you don't know what it is until you until you arrive." Oh, it's improv. Just that it's incredibly tragic. Yes. Life is a tragedy, especially with those with those pants, the, with, with that vest. I was going to say I'm not wearing <laughs> pants. Be my vest. <laughs> <laughs> Aster leans over to Cal's. Like the only tragedy here is her fucking dress. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I mean, I, I wouldn't. Yeah. It looks like snot. I'm sure that goblin worked really hard on it. it I just realized like Karen stuff. is in a wall. 
Yeah, she, uh, <laughs> she's been phased in the wall. Phased in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Meld, Meld we were, we were hyping her up so much, she was like, I can't actually <laughs> take this anymore. She's right. caught in the fantasy of her, like, starring the show, and she just stops <laughs> paying attention to everything. Can we do a thrilling rendition of anything you can do? But it's just <laughs> Karen. Better. Better. <laughs> anything better than do? No, you can't. Yes, I can. No. Yes, I can. <laughs> Karen's a one-man show of or, anything uh, you can do. I can do better. A famous duet. duet. <laughs> so, uh, it's supposed to be a duet, but she keeps cutting them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, she agrees to come up with you to the stage, saying, "I think they're in the middle of rehearsals." But we can watch on till they finish. Oh, okay. Follow me. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, Sounds Pim, fun. Pim, 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 there, Pim. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. And just so you know, there's okay. also a door to the, in the lower part of the room too. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say, yeah. did you, uh, did you, did you see that, uh, that, that horn-shaped thing that looked like it was, you know, one single horn? Yes. Did you, yes. did you see, uh? Do you see what uh, pocket she put it into? Uh, I I believe I would have at least tried to follow that, but whether or not I was able to keep track, yeah. of it, she it was like it. it um, she it, like this... put it inside her uh, inside her dress, basically. And shoves it down the front. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I I don't know how good I, you're. You're quite good with your uh, slicky <laughs> hands. I don't, I don't think she's that good. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a chance, that might be a thing. Uh, also, we'll have, to, we'll have to see what's in the script. Yeah. Also, if you uh, when we go back there, you might if you could use your lock picking skills to maybe maybe break out that uh, that uh, uh, knock. Yeah. So I I would like to um. I, okay, there are a lot of goblins in the room though, right? There are. Uh, is there any way I could like kind of like waited behind like kind of a bit and just kind of like went over and did try a quick attempt on the the cage and then leave yeah or, you, if, with, you, if you want to hang behind they're not she's not really paying attention to you i, I yeah. can i can stand in front because i have a giant horse body i can stand between her and the goblins mm -hmm. give me a like an eclipse <laughs> <laughs> give me a Never ending. um let's, let's give me a slight hand check okay I do have thieves' tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can use them on this. There's a little lock, a okay. tiny little lock. The way Five E kind of like does tools mm. and checks is always a little uh, wonky, and I'm glad they are fixing that up for one D and D. What do you roll? Only a sixteen. Mm, pretty Might good. Be enough. It's like the smallest lock you ever had to pick. Yeah. And he's like, Colmo's like. Oh, it's like, oh, okay, careful there, careful. Oh, oh, you got tiny little fingers, don't you? Is he backseat and lockpicking? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, turn it a little to the left. No, it's too far. I can't wait for the clicking noise. <laughs> um, but eventually you do hear a little click. And the little uh, lantern comes open. And I just say, ah, good luck, uh, goodbye. Oh. And then catch up with the rest of the people. Oh, bye. Looks around on this table. Okay. Gonna, he starts to waddle to the edge. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Again on my own. He gets to the <laughs> edge. He goes, oh, it's, it's a long drop down there. Yeah, okay, okay. bye. <laughs> well. I hope he... I hope he notices there's a box on the other side that might help. <laughs> this is what freedom tastes like. Death. Sweet, sweet freedom. I'm just trapped on a table. And then from the corner <laughs> corner of your eye, you remember how um when the goblins uh well not the the um bring an ox um like ran really fast in the mines, you just see him like the flash goes zoop and go out through the secret passage, like right past uh. The others that are kind of waiting there. Cool. Spry? They're like, yeah. oh, what was that? Bye, suckers! <laughs> I was so scared for my life that I just yeeted right myself yeah. right off the table. <laughs> so fast! I'm going to that throne that trips you out. 
<laughs> I hope to see Top of the Space Hall on there, yeah. but I don't know. <laughs> Where can I, I guess find out when I get there? <laughs> I always like that chair. Oh, it's a hell of a trip. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever done PCP? <laughs> hey guys, you want to get fucked up? <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> it's funny that the beginning of this is just like this random like scary I need, a, I need a clip of that. <laughs> oh my god. I can't fucking breathe. Uh, I need a clip of Joey going, you wanna get fucked up? It is <laughs> <laughs> this little old man <laughs> mouse voice. <laughs> You really oh, want the good me. stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know where they st- keep the good shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a si- uh, sort of a sidetrack, but I assume yeah. people here know about the thing Death Note. Yeah. So they made another thing called Bakuman, which is literally just a, a series about them making manga. Mm-hmm. And one of the things they make is something called PCP. <laughs> and it's about kids in a high school pulling pranks on people, so it's like the prank committee party or something. Oh, no. oh no. But the, the whole time they're just like, PCP! Like, all the time. <laughs> 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 oh, Christ. You gotta sit in my chair and take some PCP. It's <laughs> up just a manga. So I'm going to, <laughs> as funny as that note is, I'm gonna, try, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna change the song to a <laughs> song that I think sounds similar. Oh my god. Oh, my stomach hurts now. <laughs> that was, that was, that was good. <sighs> I want that as my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, just in church. I'm going to call you up just to. <laughs> People out. Dude, no. Fuck it. You should hear some of the words that come out of my boss's mouth. Holy. I'm like, well, it's a good thing you're a man of God because I don't think you'd be getting in otherwise. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Now, after that brief interlude. Oh. Okay, so we are. <coughs> at two. The like makers the, of like this D&D move. session do not, I, I do not condone uh, the really fun drugs. No, no, a don't. very special episode on <laughs> sponsored by Dare. <laughs> no, don't use PCP, kids, unless no. it's a fake manga within a manga. Yes, anime. <laughs> okay, so an open air amphitheater is carved from the slope of the mountaintop. Short cloaked figures sit in on a tiered stone benches facing the stage. Enclose, enclosing the stage are ten foot high stone walls, above which you see the stormy sky. A team of masked goblins is, is preparing the stage for a play, while costumed actors huddle in the wings and recite lines. Lighting is provided by an intricate overhead contraption upon which several more masked goblins are perched. The sounds of chains clanking and gears turning can be heard coming from somewhere under the mountaintop, and that's kind of where you came from. Where the goblins are kind of working on stuff there. And so, so some of these performers, generally have icons for, are um, mm-hmm. performing the play. Um, someone roll me a d8. I'll do it. Three! Three. So, these actors are performing a play called only fools knock twice oh in which a, in a in this dark comedy three sailors shipwrecked in the ocean cling to a coffin so they have like a prop coffin and like a bunch of um it's a rehearsal so they're just reciting lines then it's like um well sure is uh boring being here stranded at sea it's like, yep. 
You know what they say? Only fools knock twice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Other one goes, I don't get this. What, what's, what's this about? <laughs> It's like it's it about like... the it's about the human spirit of survival. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I thought it was about like a guy having an affair or something. You know, knocking twice. It's like, how do you get that? It's like, does the uh, does the coffin have a door on it? <laughs> they usually does, do. They're does like the other people are like working on the props, and you see this big prop coffin. Yeah. It's like, um, Crumbe, like, walks idiots. forward. It's like, you idiots. Um, uh, only fools knock twice refers to the, to the sweet knock of death and how you are invited to the afterlife from the stormy depths of the ocean. They're like, oh, um, if you say so. Can Pim swipe an extra script from somebody who's not paying attention? <laughs> yeah, you see this one lying around. Oh, this music got interesting again. Yeah. Turn that a little bit. This is what you hear yeah. on the open ocean. I, try, I really tried to find like some like theater music, but it was like hard to yeah. hard to find. Um, there's no, there's, yeah. So and this little goblin looks a little more. Um, little more uh, fancier than the others. He's like, Charme, as he says, uh, Scalia? He says, no, Charme, remember? Charme! I guess Charme, your rehearsal is until later this evening. What are you doing out of your fitting room? Well, I thought we have some visitors wish to seek an audience with Endolin. So tradition is that they put on a performance for her. And maybe I could be the star. <laughs> he just laughs. It's like, <laughs> you the star. It's like, yes, me the star. Like, of the, of the play that gets her attention. It's like, well, yes. It's like, well... You know the rules. They must put on the play themselves. No outside involvement. He goes, very well. I'll be continuing to try and dress as I guess. Starts to walk by. When he passes Karen, she's like, he looks up her nose. <laughs> Break a leg. And I don't mean that in the encouraging way. She stomps off. Somebody's I, I look Are around. You volunteering is, is, one? Is, is, I look around. Is break a leg near us? Break a leg did not. Uh, yeah, that's that would be good. Oh God, she jumped off the side. <laughs> like, no, I shall certainly break my leg into the scene. That way, I get paid for the month. That's what it means. I'm pretty sure. Did some yeah. community theater back home. So. Well, I'm stage fright, the master of ceremonies. He twirls a uh, a scepter in his hand. I usually you are, I usually greet the no, guests again, Joey. There are no tokens on here. I just want to make sure. Yeah, there's no like token the for some reason. Okay, make sure. Yeah, continue. Unless you want to kill it's him. Theater mine is fine. I just I just didn't know if you actually had tokens. Oh, there is a token for him, but for some reason it's not on the board. Yeah. Boop. Oh. God, he well, looks... he looks pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah look at wow, that. really good makeup. There's, there's no big picture on the. Uh, yeah. they, they probably just grabbed it from a. Uh, I, I think we're okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Usually, I greet people from the front door, but you seem to make your own entrances. That's showmanship. I like it. I like it. Are talking to a group professional, so. So, what an audience with end of it? Yes, if uh, we may. Yes, please. He kind of looks upward, and you see that high. Remember, this is kind of like an open, um, an open yeah. area. 
Um, and you see from a tower, um, like a figure looking down at you. It's about two stories up. So the sage right goes, well, she does like to watch the rehearsals. That... Helps her with her, uh, prophecy, she says. She thinks... She, she thinks the prophecy, the play has prophecies in them. I don't quite understand. But um, we put on a good show. Um, so, so, we want to put on a show. We could. Well then, follow me. And we'll get prepared. Okay. Uh All right, so he's going to make his way through certain areas. I don't think you put the uh, the mu new music on repeat. I did. Yep. I really wish it would just default to that. So there was a little thing about meeting him, so let's read it now. A okay. goblin in a jester's costume taps his clownish, clownish scepter on the floor to get your attention and says, To impress the dame of unhappy endings, you will need to perform a tragedy. Something gruesome, depressing, and darkly humorous. I have just the play. And a rolled up script suddenly appears in his hand. Normally, we would have several hours to prepare, but alas, time is of the essence. Since you don't have time to memorize all the lines, we'll need to improvise. Tossing the script over one shoulder, he says, Worry not, I'll feed you the lines from the wings. I'll feed you the lines from the wings if you get stuck. We're doing it live, people. Uh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you need, uh, I'm sure I'll be able to handle it. So before I lead you to... Uh, Get prepared. We have to assign rules to you all. Or will you all be performing in the play? Uh, I, well, I is, will be. Will I? Is there? Can I? Is there stagehand stuff? Can I be a stagehand? Um. Do Do any of the characters ride a horse? I think, well, maybe. Are there could. any characters that are a horse? <laughs> yeah. He said, maybe if you wish to uh, <laughs> make up a role, since we're doing this on the spot. You did say we had to embrace, so. Uh, so it's going to be Kelsey, Aster, Karen. Whoever performs is the one that will be allowed to have the audience. Uh, me, uh, me too. Yeah. Pim. Well, hey, Pim. <laughs> so what about, uh, what about you, the moody one? No, I already said I was doing it. Oh, oh, you mean Gray. Uh, I was going to suggest to uh, Pim uh, uh, that uh, what uh, she could always try to sneak around and stuff while everybody else is performing the play as well. Oh, uh, and like go look for things? Yeah. Perhaps. I guess you, the, the you might not like... get an audience, though, if you're not part yeah, of the I'd want I want the guaranteed audience because I'm... Um, okay, I, but I, I appreciate yeah. the thought. Gray can sneak around if he wants to. Nah, so um, ends up uh, smirking with an idea. Um, Fireball. I, I don't have that character. That's not an idea. <laughs> the um, we want a a play that's going to impress her, right? Something and it tragic. has to be a dark comedy, or of some kind. Oh, I do like comedies. If you can work in tragedy, it'll be perfect. Uh, uh, sorry, Kelsey, but um, what if we do a dark tragedy about Tasha? Uh, oh, no. She might Great. enjoy that. But first, I have to give you your rolls. Everyone roll a d8 for me. Oh, oh no. boy, oh boy. That's all we're all the same thing. What? Yeah. He's we're all no. conjoined twins. Oh, oh god. I got a one. Yes, Karen. 
We, we've hey, all got a, we all have a slot. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. So I suppose these are just merely, merely suggestions, but I do have some parts prepared for you. Um, Pimner. He says, you will be the role... Oh. Well, it looks like you already looked the part. Of the foolish, foolish, mis the foolish minstrel. It's perfect. Um, and well, I was made for it. <laughs> our witchlight monarch here kind of looks at Aster, kind of coughs, goes, <clears throat> uh, Our Majesty here will be the drunken satyr. <laughs> what? I, what? Uh, I'm not the... I, uh, I, I'm... Monarch? I think I can do it. I think... <laughs> Oh, oh, you're saying that. Uh... <laughs> uh, he says to, to uh, Kelsey, who oh, in our centaur friend here will be a failed ma magician. I guess I could try and sever a centaur in half. Turns to Grey. You, my blue-haired friend, will be a high and mighty princess. And to Aster, he goes, And you, it shouldn't be a stretch, but a mean spirited servant. <laughs> what? That's supposed to. Be. But I suppose if you want to make up your own rules, then I'm not the boss. Hey. Wait, if this. If we're going to make the about Tasha, play Tasha. Yeah. Uh, uh, Karen could probably play Tasha. Okay, so as a player, I don't know that much about Tasha. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a character well, I imagine you wouldn't know either. <laughs> I think well, you know that it's it's her it's the sister that they don't like. Yeah, it's the a... then there's Tasha's laughter and like it. She's very pretty. Well, I do know. Canonically, the one who knows the most is uh. How's he? Yeah. I, can, so. I don't think I can pull off playing. <laughs> Why not? Well, and I motion to back behind me. I can that put a moment. black curtain over top of it and people <laughs> won't even notice it's That's there. That's an excellent idea, Pimner. It's like, mm -hmm. stage fright's like, says little thing with his fingers like he's making a portrait frame. It's like, yes, yes. You can make the perfect Tasha. And if you're... Or like attempting to make fun of her, right? Because they both are her sister. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a bit of a sore spot, yeah. Tasha. Well, mm -hmm. you, you know what we can do? Tasha rides a horse. You just give me fake legs. <laughs> and put them right here. And it's it's a centaur disguise costume I've seen before. She's just and we just, horse. just give me fake legs and a fake fake horse head. Uh, you, you know I could, I, I could just you know, wave a hand and then their, their face is Tasha. Oh. If you have to concentrate, I mean... Yeah, I guess you could. I mean, there's still the rest of me. <laughs> all no, the other, as, as all in Grey just changed their face to look like Tasha. Oh, you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, Grey should be Tasha. All the other actors, like, turn to Grey as, like, show off. <laughs> I'm very good with makeup. Right, Can you well, wait? Feel so then, Natasha. Uh, there was the uh, the statue at the carnival, as well as she was in the portrait uh, that we cut up. Yeah. Yeah. So you you would know what she looks like. But so was the princess. Well, I'm I'm guessing that the princess probably has something tragic happened to her in this play. Yeah, uh, asking the uh, the goblin. Oh, it's like well. You figure it all out all in the dressing room. Follow me, follow me. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if Lead everyone... the way. Yep. Everyone head into the reveal area. Okay. Up to up those stairs there. Here. Let's move y'all. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Faster. He says, um, uh, stairs. Fine, whatever you 
can make use of, of all this mess and points around. Because you have 20 minutes till stage time. Till the curtain curtain call. Because there is no curtain. It's a figure it's an amphitheater. I'm already it's leaving. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a figure of speech. Did you see what? he was like looking, he was addressing me with his, his eyes and his finger? What was he doing with his fingers? What are you talking about? The guy was just, he was, he looked at me with his fingers and put in like a square. What was he doing that for? He's getting the, and like Aster's going to do it. It's just, you know, like, oh, perfection, you know? Um, everyone no, make, I don't. Everyone, it's just a way make, of... everyone just make me a quick perception check. Yeah. It's a way of checking um, if we're all. Um... If you're fit for the role. Hey, I kind of, I kind of do it back. Uh, I don't know. It just kind of looks like you're in a square. He asked her poses. <laughs> so gray. Um... Ready for my close-up, Mister Kelsey. As you, uh, <laughs> as you enter the room, like he's kind of taking a glance up, and uh, you see this is like the. Uh... The tower above you is where he pointed where Endolin like tends to watch and like so you just take a casual glance up and you see this um this black veiled figure kind of looking down at you as you as you enter. Oh god it's just their Bosch's face on their face. Yeah. Oh boy. Ha <laughs> Get this chill runs down your spine. Right. Uh, what kind of props are you guys gonna make? Costumes. Uh, well, I'm. I am gonna make myself a uh, th- the centaur disguise. Centaur disguise costume. So the fake legs and the fake horse head. So I look like I'm just a person riding okay, so around. Yes, yeah, so you'll you'll get you'll find a robe. Kind of make yourself look like yeah. you're riding the horse. Yeah, and also I'll I'll find a top hat. So I'm actually a magician. Yeah. So you are a failed mag- magician. Karen is a drunken oh. satyr. I guess like looking around for like a, a like wine bottle in like a paper bag <laughs> type thing, and then like looking up, and every time I I'll, like turn to ask him like, is this does this look enough like a drunk satyr? Aster, you're an expert at this. Help me. Uh, um, loose. Oh no, mm, I was gonna say loose the pants, but never mind. Um, I don't want to like get any like weird looking heels to clip up around on your feet. It's horns. Maybe rough up your hair. A horn. You're right. And then so, so this, I guess. What is there in here to do this? Are there like some wooden boxes? This smashes like a wooden box to like. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is like a prop room with like. A okay, there's like stuff, props yeah. instead of just crates. So I guess you would um, make something um, that potentially like sticks into her hair, so you can't see. I guess she sits onto like a little hat thing. Little uh, paper towel tubes or something. Yeah. The put like a line of like eyeliner or lip liner from your nose down to your lip. So that you. Oh, like... what a such a detail. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I just went to the uh, part here. Uh, this room is choked, is chocked with a variety of props and costumes. There seems to be no order to the place. Um. I roll a perception to look for horns. Four B. Prop storage. You look around. You find some unique items. A chest full of powdered wigs, each one crawling with harmless spiders. Uh! A mouse trap three feet wide and eight feet long. And a parasol topped with a copper weather vane. Hmm. How irrelevant. Um, was a what top of the weather vane? Sorry, I missed it. Parasol. Parasol. Oh, I thought I had a disguise kit on me. I guess I don't. Do you want to borrow mine? Oh, I was going to give it to Karen. She can't find anything to make horns. So just disguise herself to look like me. It's like Karen might have one. <clears throat> Still just have that waistcoat with a... Oh, the hundred hankies. I think I've used some of them though by now. <laughs> Down to 82 hankies. It's something <laughs> like that, yeah. I was just going to put on a little bow tie. Bag of hankies. What am, I, what am I supposed to be? 
a... Yeah, what so, uh... Or a me... Oh my god. A foul servant or something like that? You're, you're breaking up slightly and getting slightly robotic as you're talking, Jess. Well, I don't know why. You are a mean-spirited just... servant. Cool, cool, cool. What if you were a mean-spirited serpent? Mm-hmm. So he's actually or a... you're a mean-spirited ser- servant where you're someone who serves mean spirits to the drunk. Hey. So he, he actually is going to lead you to like the dressing room after a few moments. Um, he's Let's going... just grab our props here. Yeah, let's grab the props. He's going to lead you. You follow the Revealed areas. And you, and you can retroactively get props that you can think of in a few minutes, too. Mm-hmm. It takes you up these stairs to a... To a... A library. There's a bunch of darklings... Kind of having their own conversation. They give you a... Like an eye. Like the evil eyes you walk by. They take you to this area, which is another... Another prop area. This one includes a few unique things. Such as... A three foot high plaster pedestal on which perches a small leering gargoyle. A gilded throne with a small iron... Oh, probably should have said that. (laughs) But yeah. A gilded throne with a velvet seat cushion and a small wooden cradle with a baby baby goblin doll in it. Aww. We could maybe use the, the throne for the princess character, Gray. Yeah. Say goes. It's like, okay, I'll uh, make sure the uh, the throne's in the in the amphitheater when it's time. He picks up the throne. And uh, when he does, the cushion kind of shifts and a uh, little... A note, stage fright doesn't notice, but a little key drops to the floor. Uh, Pim's going to swipe it if, uh, if there's like a time to do it. No, he, he doesn't notice it. He begins walking. Okay, I'm going to pick that up. Is it like tiny, tiny, like that lantern tiny? That's kind of a normal size key. Okay. We'll um, put it in her bag. So I'm jumping around this entire chapter here. Do, 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 do. Okay. So he, he points. Um, to this area right here. He says, through that door is the uh, is the dressing area. Um, use whatever costumes you need to. I'll be back in ten minutes. Well, I'm already dressed, so I, I don't need anything. I'll see what's in there. Bale's joining me. Assume you all go in there. I think Karen will go in too. I'll go in, but I just I won't need anything. Ah, oh, dark. Yes, yes, we know, Mark. This thing has a bug. Very annoying. Um, <laughs> five. Um, resting against the walls of the circular chamber, there are three dressing tables, each one with a mirror atop it. The mirrors are bordered by tiny balls of bright golden light. An ornate an ornate back high back chair on clawed feet sits before each table. Slumped in one of the chairs is a bugbear dressed as a green dragon from the neck down. On the floor nearby there are fake a fake dragon head and tail that complete the costume. This bugbear looks all the more unusual because he does not cast a shadow. He's just looking depressed. 
looking in the sh- looking in the mirror. Does he look like Hurley? Mm-hmm. It does look like Hurley. <gasps> Her- Hurley? What do you want? Uh, what do you want? I'm very busy. I tell. Hurley, it's it's Pim. It's Pimner. What? I thought I heard Pimner's voice, but that can't be true. No, it is Hurley. He looks and around, Hurley. but like doesn't look down. Uh, the room. Well, use use my quick climbing ability to like scuttle up to his shoulder really fast. And sit on his shoulder and say, look, it's me, Pim. It's like, that, that Pimner. I'm going to put on a happy song, see if that fits the mood. There you go. P- Pimner. Little Pimner, is that you? Yes. Yes, Hurley, it's me. Oh. Astra's busy with a modem right now, but yeah. don't worry. Astra's here too! He gives you a big bugbear hug. Restraint early! Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. I, I will say I do feel stronger than we last met, but not that much stronger. What are you, what are you do, doing here in Prismere? Well, it's a long story. Did, and honestly... Did it... We don't a... have time. We have ten minutes till curtains. Uh, did it make a deal with the hack? Did you like I did? No. Not yet. Oh. Do, does my brother still... Does my brother still talk about me? Yes, he he's one of the reasons why we're here. He, he's been looking for you, Hurley. He wants to know that you're okay. Well, I know I left and... Bit of a unex- kind of left in kind of an unex- un- unexpected way, but um, just couldn't take it anymore. My my temper is getting out of control. People didn't like me there. It is it is kind of scary when someone who can throw a whole wagon um kind of loses control, and then a bunch of wagons go flying. <laughs> I guess my brother. Kind of evened out my temper, but I wanted to be a better bugbear without him. That's why I came here to Prismere. Endelin said that she would make me uh, control my anger by learning to act. But I don't think it's working. Did you get acting lessons? She said, yeah, two, she said for two years. I would have acting lessons, prove my anger. But then I learned that the Fey Wild's all weird, and two years can be twenty. I don't yeah, know when I was gonna. I'll... I don't know Sorry. when I'll be able to come home again. Well, hopefully you can come home with me and Aster. I can't come home without my shadow. I feel. I feel. Uh... Empty without it. I know the feeling. I'm here to get something back, too. That was actually three years. Saying, she says, she said if I gave her my shadow, she would teach me to control my anger and prove it through acting. And he looks in the mirror. But I'm pathetic. They don't like me here at all. Uh. Pim- um. In Pimner, when you look in the mirror, you see your face there, but Hurley's face is like old, wrinkled, missing patches of hair. Ooh. It's, it's like not the way uh, he looks in person, but um, that's what the mirror is reflecting. I think she's had about enough of me. She's got a little tired of me. That's why I look like that. Hurley, you don't look like that. That's not who I see when I stand before you, or sit on your shoulder. I heard what the others said about me. Burly Hurley. I guess his brother name is Burley. Um, like, 
Harley is going to hurl him over the, over the edge, over the cliff, into the lake. That's what they used to say about me. And it only happened a couple times. It threw you into a lake? Well, you know, just, you know, the little dweeb Candlefoot threw him in the lake a couple times because he got on my nerves a little bit. Oh. Did Early, I, and it... Uh, did I give, like, um... Burly, like, a... You can't talk like this. Yeah. Um, so... Maybe you should... Maybe you should talk a little like that. Yeah, that's not well, oh, well, time has not been kind to his yeah. larynx. We'll say. So, yeah, it's so... Up, uh, so, it's Shakespearean acting. It's just like, uh... It's like, you know, the time that I threw Candlefoot into the lake. Yeah. Because he, uh, did that stupid mime thing that I hate so much. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, he did lose his voice for a bit, though. We were able to get it back. Because no one likes me because I had to give up my shadow. No one will talk to me. When I'm in when, when I'm in scenes without this ridiculous mask, they always get scared and nervous. That's why I have to be a stupid dragon or a or a or a fairy or a. Or a tree. I have to be the pimner. I have to be the tree. I uh, haven't you suggested trying maybe being the phantom of some sort of opera? Wears a mask until he is finally discovered. You play into your personality and your yourself and make you stronger. It's method acting. It's so method I acting. hide my disgusting face uh, through a, a metaphorical and physical I'm mask. Trying. This has got to be one of the worst self-esteem build-ups I've ever heard. <laughs> um, Pim's going to put her hands on either side of Hurley's face and say, Hurley, I want you to know that there's something wrong with those mirrors. That's not what you look like. And then, like, trace over. Over here it says it shows that there's patches, but see? And then when she touches it, it's like, I still feel the hair. You still look as young and handsome as you did. When you left, the, I'm assuming, as he did, when he when you left the carnival. Oh, I Pim think those are there to play a mean trick on you. Ah, uh, Pimner, I knew, trick. I knew I it was a good idea not to throw you into the lake. Yeah, I am kind of hard to get a hand on, though, I'm going to admit. And then she's going to scuttle back down and yeah. stand around. Yes, I'm sure you could throw you awfully far. Yeah, definitely. I think you could probably throw me across the lake. Perfect spiral. So, um, you do hear, uh, the curtain kind of open up from the other end. It's like, and you see a, let's pick one, see a tiefling woman. It says, Hurley, you know that it, the mirror is how the hag thinks of you, not how you look. That's why I know I'm on the way out. But but listen, 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 I have an idea. I can wear a mask. It's like, no, you play the dragon. We need the dragon in our play. It's a very essential part. But she's like avoiding eye contact. Like, uh, he doesn't want to look at where his shadow would be. It kind of freaks her out. Now, um, let's have these... New up and comers get into character. Come in here, come in. Good luck, Hurley. Oh. We'll be right back. No. I'm after, imagining, after, like. After your play, come back and see me. I'm imagining, like, the, the simple thing is he doesn't have a shadow, like, when a shadow is projected on the wall. But he probably also means that he doesn't make shadows onto the... He doesn't have a darker side of his body, so he kind of looks cell-shaded <laughs> when we're, like, Maybe. looking at him. Oh. Yeah. Just well, that, well, that's other that things background. casting a shadow on. Yeah. I guess that would technically be him making the shadow. Yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. That'd be actually a really does, fun does drawing his clothes, to make. Yeah, does his clothes <laughs> cast a yeah, shadow? This, this is more of a Peter Pan situation <laughs> where... Uh, yeah, no, I get it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, I would, that, that that could easily play into why people would be uncomfortable like looking at him. True. He's drawn yes. in a completely different art style. Yeah. <laughs> it's also ten minutes till curtain call. Yep. So you're at oh, the uh, <laughs> dressing room proper. You all kind of know what you you want to do at this point, but you do see a um, 
gathering of actors here. Ooh, this is happy. <laughs> Don't count oh, this is going to be a very tragic s s yeah. scene with this music. <laughs> So maybe maybe we can have so Gray, you're gonna be Tasha and something has to horrible has to befell Tasha. But they seem to like things that they can brag about against their sisters. Mm -hmm. So what should the tragedy be that befalls Tasha? Um probably becomes uh, horribly ugly or uh, yeah. something something to boost their esteem. I think maybe a lot of people will hate her. Maybe maybe she becomes funny looking, I, I say, far enough away though Hurley can't hear me. Um, and so that's where Tasha's hideous laughter comes from. Because they're laughing at her hideousness. Her, her, her what? H hideousness. No, I, what laughter? The, t the people laughing at her. Just people. Okay. I don't know. I'm not a writer. I can't think of things in ten minutes. One thing you notice as you enter this room that most of the uh, actors are like sobbing and crying. Oh. There's like. Yeah, that seems accurate. Don't worry about yeah. us. We're just staying in character. We have to be That's as an tragic and gruesome and depressing as we can in our plays, and it's easier just to stay in character and just feel bad all the time. But it's yeah. the best way to get on Edwin's good side is to be as depressing and gruesome and tragic as possible. Uh, like melodramatically tragic or just normal tragic? One goes, exactly. Okay. The yeah. tiefling okay. from earlier, or, earlier goes, um, that's Hurley's problem. He just can't fake a tear. He's just too oh. strong. He's, he's, she looks at him. He's just too strong. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's like he's so manly, he doesn't even... I don't think he's ever cried in his life. He's so out of touch with his emotions. What a man. <laughs> <laughs> what a man. <laughs> Not too bright, though. He's too alpha. <laughs> <laughs> if only... He told me about his brother. If only we could mix Burley and Hurley together, it would be the perfect person. No, don't say that. Don't say that in Prismere. Do not say that in Prismere. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you well, probably get a two-headed bugbear, and that's too too much for anyone. Uh, 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 to be honest, I wouldn't mind two heads. Ugh. One of them your brother, though? What? I'm sure he snores. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I no, thought no, Hurley because, said that. Because they're two, they're two brothers, and yeah. like, they wouldn't enjoy being together with No, Hurley, Hurley doesn't brother. say that. He's, 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 oh. moving, he's moving in his room. Oh, oh okay. Alright. What's, uh... So, what should I... Do? So we don't have a script. Are we actually impro going to be improving a scene, Joey? So, what is that? Is that the script? <laughs> is that the script? Is that the script in the sand? Did you read the script too? <laughs> so, um, since you have no time to learn a script, Sage Fright tells you that he will um, he will feed you lines. He he wants you to say during the performance. If you say these lines in a way that'll make Endelin happy, like in the proper context and. Or not even, well, if you say them, um, if you include them in the play, and it, um, the play is, like, tragic and melodramatic and all that wonderful stuff, then Endolin will sure to approve it. Okay, so, feed lines, be tragic. I mean, yeah, so, especially um, just reading cue cards. Yeah, I've so like each, each, time you say, each time you say the line, you'll you'll pull one from a bag, and you'll have to say that line. Some you don't have to, but you'll try to incorporate the line into <laughs> the from a bag. 
from the yeah. performance. You can move around the stage freely, use props, enter and exit scenes as you wish. Um, but every character who has a role must contribute to the performance. If, if one of the characters dies in the play, they can no longer draw lines of dialogue. Or if you leave the, the play's story. Yes. Okay. See, I'm a failed magician. I'm a tragic uh, court jester. Have any of you, besides Pim, have either any of you like actually acted before? I no. Okay. I've watched plays, uh, and uh, I guess you are like pretending to be somebody's wife. So. Yeah. Well, the being the wife part isn't fake, but yeah, the, the per person. Well, guess, you know yeah. what I mean. Yes. You're just being pedantic at this point. <laughs> Karen, I'm sure you did. Yeah, Karen, I'll do excellent job. Oh, I'm not worried. I just, you know, wanted to make sure. It saves it, me having to give you all a pep talk. How um, many one need a reminder of the role? Drunk. A foul servant? Question. A mean spirited servant. Mean spirited servant. Well, same shit. Different Karen is a drunken satyr. <laughs> Who looks just what like me? You? Yeah. <laughs> Kalsi what would you do with a drunken satyr? What would you do with a drunken? <laughs> uh, uh, Kalzi is a failed mag magician. Failed magician. Gray is a high and mighty princess slash Tasha. And uh, Pimner is a foolish minstrel. And we'll give you all. <laughs> give you all um, your first line. It should appear in the chat. I'm going to just go in the order of your icons on the uh, stage here. Okie doke. Is, I assume your order is probably should be the same as ours. It's Aster, Gray, Fedora, yeah. Mark, yeah. Kelsey, oh, Tim, and Sam. Yeah. Go first. <laughs> oh. All right, so Aster. Hey, move us to the stage if we're ready. Okay. Set the stage, so to speak. We're not going to be doing this in the the room next to Let's Hurley. Let's do this in this hole in the wall. <laughs> no, we're, yeah. yeah, no, we're we're doing a performance for Hurley. He deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> she can still see us. Who cares? <laughs> and just everybody remember, this is a dress rehearsal, so it's okay if you mess up. Okay, so Aster's first line. My mood is leaden. Yeah, speak only good news. <laughs> my mood is leaden. Uh. <laughs> Ray, <laughs> your first line is <laughs> My hope is shriveled like a grape. Let's us make wine of it. Uh, Give me a good one. Yeah, uh Fedora Mark, yours is Oh Here's some grizzle to chew upon. That was funny. Grizzle, dear God. Uh, Pimner. Your first one is. What fresh horror is this? That's a great one. That is a great one. That was great. Uh, I, I and, feel like we're cooking or something. And, uh. and Sam. Oh, not Sam. Uh, Karen. Karen? Karen, of course, it's Sam. First line is. <laughs> What banner of ghoul is this I see before me? <laughs> Savage! <laughs> Damn! Uh. Woof! So whenever you use, use one of these lines, um, I'll, I'll roll a new one for you. And it'll be up to you when you use it, when you want to end the play. <laughs> or the scene, we'll do like a scene, you know. But, uh, does, does drag it on way too long? And just make it yeah. for everyone. <laughs> it's like, these were written by creeping with this is this was written by Endel and herself, so she likes it when you use them. Yeah. All right. So I found every track labeled "Silent Movie Score" <laughs> in uh this music thing. And I put Kevin McLeod has a lot of those on here. Yeah, I put on random, so <laughs> some will fit the scene, some will won't. <laughs> So, can we say these things in conjunction with yes. other? Okay, okay. As long as you say yeah. 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah. And uh, so you enter the amphitheater. Um, you remember there were there were darkling figures, like watching from the the stage. And when you all walk out, you see not one, but three figures on the tower above the stage. Oh. I hope uh, one's a dead body. I was gonna yeah. say, is one of them slumped over in a horse by any chance? Um, Kelsey, with your, well, spyglass. Pull your spyglass. They will. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. You do see. Bavlorna. Uh, Scabatha, uh, who's not moving. Yeah. Tongue hanging out. <laughs> Maybe a she little X's in her eyes. Yeah, she has X's in her eyes. <laughs> okay she's just sleeping but um you do see the first glimpse of Endolin uh, do, do, do. why is that so awful That's... <laughs> oh I love it wow. so Endolin love it. see this veiled figure like a black veil but behind the veil you see like this is the visage of a skeleton head of like oh, a skeleton. That's fucking crazy. And you don't necessarily Her... see all these arms are poking out. But she's yeah. just wearing this long black dress. These skeleton Those... hands poking out. And she's like a good deal taller. Than Those the are her two. legs. Yeah, she's walking. Oh, you can't, God, you can't tell that she's is... walking on the uh She's part umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Her dress is like made of skeletal bones. This is my favorite art thing. of this entire thing, I think. Yeah. This is amazing. I love it. Yeah. The tone just changed so much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah. know this was an option. Beth Lauren is like, and I just look like a frog. <laughs> Clearly, Endolin is the most attractive of the sisters. <laughs> Actually, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Where's it's... that picture of Star again? I think I'm going to look at that. <laughs> yeah. Cute little kitty. <laughs> but, um... Stage Fright walks out. Oh, I think I have lines for this one. Uh, doo -doo. Line! 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 <laughs> Well, I think maybe it was a little bit earlier, but um, yep. Endolin Moongrave peers down at the stage from a forty-foot-high stone balcony, while a gloomy audience of Darkling watches from the amphitheater seats and masked goblins perch atop the stage rigging. Stage fright introduces the characters' troupe and their play. And ducks behind a curtain. So what? Like what? What, is, what does he introduce you as? And the the play name. Uh, uh, the 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 death of magic is the name of the play. Okay. Performed by the Carnival of Tears. <laughs> yes. Oh, the death of magic. Born by the Carnival of Tears, and he just claps by himself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just slips behind uh, the curtain. So the only prop you brought out was that uh, golden throne. So how do you thinking? set up the scene? I was thinking, I already have like an idea in my brain of like. <laughs> of... Right again, Johnny. Like. <laughs> We could set the throne up. Doesn't necessarily need to be like used right away or anything, right? No. But it's, it's off to like one side of the stage, and I just I have this like Kelsey won't come on until like he won't come on right away in my brain because I have this idea where Aster will like bump into like or, or not Kelsey Gray, sorry, because Gray's playing mm -hmm. Tasha. Um, will either bump into like Pim or something and be like, oh, like sp only tell me good things right now. My mood is shit or whatever because I just heard that Tasha is coming. Ugh, can you believe it? Like that sort of thing. So that's what I have in my mind right away. Yeah, so you guys didn't have time to, to prepare much, but maybe. No, you I can... know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but, like, yeah, you can, like, behind the scenes, you can kind of, like, 
you kind of set up how it starts. So Pimner will be uh, around the throne waiting, and then Astor will bump in, and then we'll just start. I'm assuming no one else is on the stage yet, and it's just the two of us opening. Yeah. Opening the shot. Yeah, it makes sense for Pimner to be around the throne if she's a jester. And then yeah. Aster, like, is, like, running, like, he'll, like, run on looking from behind him. Like, oh god, oh god, oh god, get me away. <laughs> <laughs> sort of deal. And then bump into Pim. I, yeah. I imagine as a failed magician, I will come on at some point and yeah. be like, look at all of the things that Tasha has shown me and taught me oh, and oh. nothing works. And mm. as a drunken satyr, I shall wander on whenever I feel like it. We can just play this live right now. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. It's like you're live. I just wanted to set up the scene. Yeah. Because that was the first thing that came to yeah, my like, head. Good luck. <laughs> so Aster will... <laughs> He's running on to the... Uh, and then uh, he'll like elbow into... Not elbow, but shin ah. into Pim. The light, uh, light shines uh, on you. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just... <clears throat> Please... Speak only good news to me. My my dearest co-worker, friend, confidant, you will not believe. My mood? Leaden. Would you like to know why? Yes. I heard. Brace yourself. You might want to sit down, actually. Tasha's coming. What fresh horror is this? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh. that's... That's exactly what I said. I'm sorry, but there are no words that I can do to lighten our mood right now, knowing that that awful tragedy of a, of a creature is coming our way. I couldn't believe it. Like, completely unannounced. Comple the audacity, the goal that that... <sighs> so, so, Stage Fright sneaks up to Aster. Your next slide. Oh, and it's it we and it, we dance too long. Now all the music is gone. I think it's supposed to be private, but since we're online, can't we do that? Eh, right. Yeah, no but, uh, yeah. And then ask um, Pimner yours is um, the the second one here. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. Okay, I read it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I don't, I don't know if we have to like get ready or something. Honestly, I'd prefer not to. Dan's gonna just, wander he, on stage. Ask her like. <laughs> Uh, oh, fuck. What's the word? Like rolls his eyes, but very like stage like and with your body exaggerated. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah a, a rolling of the eyes that somehow um, involves the motion of your entire upper torso. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no! It's the drunken satyr. Maybe uh, they all drunken satyrs are usually really joyous and happy. <laughs> did, did I hear you right? Where you said that. Tabitha is coming. No, no, no. Tasha. Tasha, that's what I meant. The other T. You know that. Do you want to know what I would say to her one? face? Do you want to know what I'd say right to her face? I'd walk right up. <clears throat> walk right up to her and I'd say, What manner of ghoul is this I see before me? Uh, like ghoul derogatory, though. Oh, yeah, not the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's what I would do. I'd do it right to her face, I swear. She's just the absolute worst. Your next slide. Anyway, I guess maybe isn't there supposed to? Uh, I'm gonna have to go talk to the magician and see if he's gonna be able to do something because we'll have to entertain. I guess so. Aster will start like prancing off a little bit. Oh, I'll, I'll walk on the stage. Hello, has oh. everyone heard the good news? Good news. There's good news. What yes. good news? I shall be performing. You're, too, you're so stiff. Loosen up. I, 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 stop. I, uh, I, uh, it's no good news. I, I lied. The Tasha's going to be coming. And honestly, nothing can compare to her. Mainly because everything is better. It's she taught me... She taught me everything I knew, and... Oh, well, here's some gristle to chew upon. Do you want to see what I've known? Watch. Pick out uh, my top hat. I say the magic words. Benominee, Michigan. 
and I pull out nothing. That's all she's ever done for me. Aaron's gonna explode. This portends an unpleasant day! <laughs> Great. Oh, that's just fantastic, really. Can't wait to hear the end of this. Yeah. Anyway, when do you think she's gonna even get here? She's taking uh, her sweet time, isn't she? Yeah. Here's her next line, Shut wizard. Up. Hey. And you, right, Drunken and... Seder. Gray is going to come out on stage. Uh, <laughs> I ar I arms in uh, uh, in the uh, in the air all dramatically, face looking exactly like Tasha's, but with um, uh, has added uh, like a few warts and stuff like that to the face. <laughs> and ah, uh, everyone, I uh, it is so wonderful to be loved by everyone and to be perfect in every way. Tell me. Tell me how beautiful and wonderful I am. Himner goes, Did you speak? I thought twas a brang of an ass. <laughs> Parents gonna go, Murder! Oh! <laughs> murder! That's <laughs> 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 really good there. Yes. My hope is shriveled like a grape. Let's make wine of it. Uh, oh, I'm drinking a lot. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you, you there, uh, very kind servant. Uh, bring us wine. <sighs> he just like who to give <laughs> books to? Just, just, just pick someone's name and give it to them. Yeah. yeah. Aster just like sighs and like slumps his shoulders. <laughs> like we dance too long. Now the music is gone. All right, Aster. Here's a new line. And he like slowly. <laughs> Ray, here's a new line. Uh, and he'll go. I, I just off. used that one. Uh, yeah, another one. Random. I did no, that. We're running, one. Out, we're running out of lines. There's 80 of them. <laughs> oh, God. The random number generator has failed us. Here, yeah, I'll throw a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> I'll go up to, uh, to Gray slash um, Tasha. They're like, you beastly little imp. I give you all of my money for magic trick lessons, and you did nothing but trick me into having magic trick lessons. Ah. Oh, for a sword. I just remember, we gotta make this tragic, y'all. <laughs> You're right. Someone hand me a sword, and I shall finish this. Hold my hand out. No, hurry. Tis best I die quickly. No, not you, as Aster comes running out with a, <laughs> a random bottle he found backstage somewhere. <laughs> I think I cannot bear to live any longer knowing oh. that existing in a world where I've had to live with Tasha. As you Honestly, said before, this pretends to an unpleasant day. Honestly, with Tasha around, all is lost. No prayer can save us now. Hurry! Oh, tis best to I die. Tis best we all die quickly. Guzzles. <laughs> Just starts guzzling. So, so of, you're all killing yourselves rather than to live in Tasha's presence. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the horror of Tasha's still living uh, is is the that's true tragedy. Tragic. Yeah, that's yes. a true tragedy. Aster, like, pretends to start choking on the wine. Yeah. <laughs> so Karen's gonna wind up to uh, Tasha and be like, this is that is a goatish look you have upon your face, seeing everyone die in front of you, instead of being in a world with you. Oh, I hope you're happy. Oh, 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 oh. I hope you are as happy as today as you are every day. This portends to an unpleasant day. <laughs> and just uh, kills over. <clears throat> uh, I I use a sword or something to cut off the fake horse head head that I have on. You too cloppy. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! That's so grim! <laughs> as we settle, as I lie down and then pretend to seppuku. <laughs> ah! I might as make pie from these crumbs. Ugh! 
Pim, Pim will also do like the Romeo death scene <laughs> with it. Murder! Oh, murder! <laughs> no, everyone has died rather than uh, uh, rather than be near me. Oh, if only I was as lovely and wonderful as my sisters. Oh ho ho ho! And uh, sobs and runs off off camera. <laughs> and scene. Yes, and scene. <sighs> Okay, so once more with feelings. <laughs> all the all the all the darklings in the uh it could be by me. On the uh <laughs> in the stadium to start clapping. It's like yay and from the backstage where uh Charme <laughs> came from you hear a boo Boo Ernst <laughs> She's saying boo or boo Ernst <laughs> I heard boo Ernst <laughs> My uh, big scene ruined you amateurs. Uh, I was really good. I, was really good. I think we did an excellent job. No, I think Honestly, we did too. Aster, how did I do as a drunken satyr? Honestly, I couldn't tell the difference. I really thought I was looking in a mirror. It's an excellent critique. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm sorry, sorry. You're definitely not as beautiful as me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disassembling the legs of my, uh, my, my, my man costume on my horse. But excuse me. Oh, just rip it off and throw it off. Yeah. Hey, break a leg. Toss it to the side. So while you were waiting for um, they tally the score of the dance off. <laughs> You're waiting for a uh, stage fright to come back. Um, Gray, you kind of hanging around the backstage area. Find this area here in the map, in the thing. Yeah, you see some of the goblins that are kind of like operating the lights in the in the um, operate some cranes back there in the curtains. You see that, um, there's a few of them, there's a lot of people back here. Who are they? They're, Who are you? Um, the understudies. Yeah, I'm not sure who these people are. It, there's like tokens on the uh, board here. Yeah, I see them. Just oh. make something up. Improvise. Okay. Give them a line. Okay, so these were the actors that were performing the rehearsals earlier. Oh. They're like backstage here. And they're the people with VIP backstage passes that are yeah, really yeah. questioning how much they paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they see you, Gray. It's like, um, like, oh, good job. I really felt the emotion, and they all start to snicker. It's like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> you see yeah, a... Female elf, a male goblin, and a uh, and a dwarf. Yes, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> I, I imagine I, I imagine you wouldn't believe that that's the first time I've been on stage. It's like, oh, I couldn't tell at all. Two of the goblins kind of operating the equipment um, back here. Um, that they're that, that they're keeping kind of like a wide berth of. You notice that they do not have any shadows. <sighs> but if you don't want to, um, to observe anything else, then you can leave. I guess. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Right. I don't know what to Let's say. go. We need to, we need to take a bow. Yeah, group bow. We all line up. Group group bow. All right. Everyone get in the line. Dave Fry kind of walks down the door. Walks down the stairs. Walks so, down the well, door. <laughs> I uh, spoke with Endelin, and um, she felt the lines were a little forced, especially near the end. It got a little chaotic. Oh. You gave us, like, six in a row. We were kind of like... It's like, oh, I, I panicked. Didn't know who to hand it to. 
But you gotta hand it to all of us. She did like did the part job. where no one liked Tasha. And she was just so unpopular then. Rather than staying her present that everyone would just take their own life. Yes, that was that was the theme of the show, yes. She liked that. I think it's kinda dark. Yeah. I picked up my, my horse head. Um here, take that back. She thought it was an interesting choice to leave Tasha unharmed at the end. That she deserves so, worse. Dramatic. She was like emotionally scarred. I think that's like dramatic worse. irony. Mm. Yes. See, that's the tragedy, though. The tragedy is that Tasha uh, is still alive. Right. It's like a. She has some thoughts about that, too. But she didn't elaborate. Uh... But. She's agreed to a meeting. On one Good. condition. Yes? Apparently. You might have murdered her sister. And what? attempted to murder what? the other. What? That's a pretty big accusation. Yes. Yeah. So she will meet. She points to Pimner. Only with her. In private. Oh no. Because also to remind, um, Kelsey's the only one that saw that it was the three up there. Because you're the only one with a spyglass, and you never. I, I probably said would have. I would. I probably. I mean, we were going into the the thing, but I probably would have uh, mentioned that. I was like, yeah, they're they're all uh they're all up there. If you wish to have additional dealings with her, then you do so after she meets with the little one here. Pen, right. is that okay with you? I, I, it might be my only chance. I'm gonna I'm gonna hand her my um uh the bag of the tea bag I have of protection of good and evil. Which uh oh I don't know if I still have that anymore. I have quantity of zero. I might I I guess I don't, never mind. I will literally just cast it. Before she heads out there, because I have ten minutes, and I will give her demic concentration on protection of good from evil and good. Okay. So basically, that disadvantage on attack rolls if something does go south. So. Okay, but we will do that next time. Okay. Did will... did she say anything about um? The drunken satyr. <laughs> she said, um, might have been miscast. <laughs> Karen's eye twitching. Yeah. Karen. Even though Karen was disguised to look exactly like Aster. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I might rethink about the meeting uh, for next next time, like how it will play out. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. But, um, she knows. She seems to have known what is what happened in the other, the other layers. She's not going to take any chances. I she love... possibly figured it out after we attacked the other one. <laughs> did she listen to the previous podcast? Yeah. Is she a subscriber? <laughs> did she did she like, comment, and subscribe? Smash that like button. <laughs> Don't forget to click the bell to be notified every time Joey uploads. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. And visit our old defunct websites. <laughs> that doesn't exist anymore. That's why I said the word defunct. Should have taken you just... this direction when I you through. It's kind of a backstage area. Yeah. Oh, it's got a creepy uh, trap door in it. Yeah. Uh, you... We can go there next time. A like lever. You, you didn't really look around, but it actually connects to the trap door on the lower level. So they get, oh, okay. So, that's how they get props up there. Oh, I see. It's a yeah. little elevator. Joey, can can the team do such a bad job in their act that um, that they don't get a meeting with? I mean, yeah, but that's not fun. 
Okay. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. <laughs> well, I'm just curious, like, how does the marking scheme work on that? That's yeah. true, actually. Um, it, it does say, like, use your judgment if they use the lines well. If they use it, like, often enough. And if they if they don't do those things, like if you don't use any of the lines or you don't end in a tragedy, then Endelin will refuse to meet with you. Then it's on to murder. Yep. <laughs> oh. Um. But yeah. Just scrape by. Probably saw this um. <laughs> the map over here though. About kind of how this all works out here. So the stage was. Right around here. And the tower Endelin was looking at was up here. Uh, by t t t tower level 2. So Electric boogaloo. Yeah. Cool place. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a big, creepy... Obviously supposed to feel like a... Uh... Uh, Dracula, uh, Frank, Frankenstein's cast, Doctor Frankenstein's castle type thing, Castle Frankenstein. Frankenstein or Frankenstein? Frankenstein. 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 Right, I'm actually kind of tired, so I will okay. talk to you guys later. Thank you. That for was coming. good, though. Yeah, thanks, Joe. It was good. After that very exhausting play. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, I think those lines work better if we're around a table and you like you're actually pulling from a, a jar. Oh like sure, sure. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no I worries. Think, I think we made it work. Yeah. There was some parts where it felt pretty good, but yeah, it did get chaotic at the end. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like um kind of lost the plot near the end. It's they were fine. just yelling things. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, there was a plot. Alright, thanks everyone. Okay, good, good night. night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.